As of now, Earth is the only planet we know for a fact holds life, but over the decades there have been thousands of planets discovered in our galaxy, and we have also found many planets that seem to orbit their stars in our habitable zone. However, there is one star that houses a planet that very well might be the most Earth-like planet we've ever discovered so far. And I'm of course talking about Kepler 452b, which is also commonly known as Earth 2.0. The star this planet orbits is approximately 1,402 light years away from us, and also the star of this planet, Kepler 452 is classified as a sun-like star, so very similar to our own star. Kepler 452b is estimated to be about five times the mass of Earth, with a diameter of about 50% bigger than Earth's. The planet is in fact 6 billion years old and does in fact orbit what we call the habitable zone, so the temperature is suitable for human life. It takes this planet approximately 385 days to complete one full orbit around its star, so a very similar amount of time it takes Earth to orbit our sun, which is 365 days. What makes this rocky planet possibly habitable is the fact that it's very close in temperature to that of Earth, at minus 8 degrees Celsius, which if you think about it, it is a very comfortable temperature for human life. And the super Earth-sized planet may have a thick atmosphere, with clouds covering its surface, and it might also have an active tectonic system on its surface, with possibly active volcanoes covering the world. And of course, we have no way of really knowing exactly what atmosphere type Kepler-452 falls into, but there has been speculation by scientists that it's a thicker atmosphere than that of Earth's. Now the most interesting thing about this planet is the fact that it could be home to life that could be somewhat similar to the life on Earth, due to the similar conditions. But of course, this is highly speculative thinking. Now there have been some strange depictions of what life could look like on this planet, but I don't see how this is really all that true, because how could we possibly know? But much like how we believe that there is life to be found in an underground ocean on Jupiter's moon Europa, this theory could be a possibility. But if we were ever to travel to this world, it would be very difficult to walk on the surface as we do with Earth, due to it having much higher gravity because of the fact that it's much bigger than our planet. However, hopefully by the time that we get there, we'd have the technology to deal with things like that. Also that with our current technology, it'd take about 26 to 30 million years for us to get there, even with a space probe. And this is without even taking into account about how the spacecraft could last this long. Either way, it will be a very very long time before we will be able to see what this seemingly Earth-like planet looks like, and also to be able to get more information on it. However, as our technology progresses, maybe someday in the future we will be able to get there, but it will most likely not be in any of our lifetimes. It will be more likely that we get to Proxima Centauri in our lifetimes than we get to a planet that is 1400 light years away. Proxima Centauri is only 4 light years away, and it also does seem promising that it could have a planet that is somewhat similar to Earth also, so there is more information to be found and dug up on that, which is more in the near future, since Kepler 452b is a very long ways away. But I want to thank you all for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you haven't been waiting too long for a new video from me, um, but I will be posting more and be going live weekly on Wednesdays. But thank you guys very much for watching. This is Liam from MindBuild77, signing off till next time. Bye guys.